All right, happy Monday, guys. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. Uh, today we're back with some strength work for the deadlift, so work on that leg strength. Going for deficit deadlifts today, and we're doing one every 20 seconds for 20 reps. So every 20 seconds on the 20 second mark, you're gonna do one deadlift from that deficit. So you're gonna be standing on some plates. Um, but with this guys, we're trying to build that strength in a different range of motion. So in an increased range of motion, cause you're gonna be a little deeper in the bottom of that deadlift position. Make sure you're choosing a weight and a height that you can keep that back nice and flat and find that tension in your core the entire time. So we don't want to be pulling from a depth that we don't feel comfortable with or we don't have enough tension in or not in the right positions with because we want to create good strength and we want to create it in the right positions um, and not in a round position. Even on the way down from the deadlift guys, I want you to control it. So don't drop it from the top, try and control it on the way down. Um, you can mix your grip, whatever style of grip you want to use today. The focus is going to be building that strength in the bottom range of motion and being consistent for all 20 reps today. Um, after the workout, or sorry, after the strength, we're going to go into the workout. That workout is an AMRAP 15. We're going to be focusing on lower body endurance here um, with a little bit of a mix with some upper body um, strength and endurance uh, alongside it. So how this works, AMRAP 15, you're doing a max set to start off with of unbroken ring pull-ups. So find some horizontal, uh, some rings that are in that um, hip height so you can be horizontal to the floor. You go for a max set, as many as you can. Then every time you break, so that means you um, come off the rings, you're gonna do 10 deadlifts at 225 and then 45 air squats before you can go back in and do more ring pull-ups. The goal of this workout is to maximize the number of ring pull-ups that you finish in this workout. So the deadlifts and the air squats are your buy-in to go into your next set. And you're gonna do that every time you break from the ring pull-ups. Your goal today with the unbroken, or sorry, with the pull-ups, I want you to get at least 40 to 50 reps done here. So that means try and get 10 to 15 reps done on each um, set there. The deadlift should be a weight where you can get those 10 done unbroken. It should be kind of a moderate to, or a light to moderate weight. The 45 air squats, you're just moving continuously. So right after you finish your deadlifts, you're just right into that rhythm of those air squats, just kind of going through them. And also use this as a way to kind of recover your arms and get yourself set for that next set of unbroken pull-ups. So let's try and aim to get 40, 50 reps here. Um, your score, again, is gonna be the number of pull-up reps that you get, not the number of deadlifts or air squats. So that's just gonna be an aside. Um, even if you finish the workout with these deadlifts or air squats, your score is gonna be the total amount of pull-ups that you accumulated in those 15 minutes. From there, the accessory or extra work, so this is aside from the class, um, so working on that core and the lower body there. So today we're going to do some staggered Romanian deadlifts to finish off. So you want to strengthen the hamstrings and the glutes and low back area. It's a perfect little um, strength exercise you can finish off with. We're going to do 10 reps, uh, five on one side, five on the other in a staggered stance so we can isolate one side from another. Um, again, this is good work to do to kind of keep strengthening that posterior chain. So you guys are getting strong in your deadlifts and your front squats and just having an overall strong posture uh, with your with your body there. Overall, hope you guys enjoyed today's workout and strength. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the next one.